So in this video, we are looking into something called mutex. Now, mutex is a uh, it, it's a feature of the free protocols or, or, or any real-time operating system that allows guarding of a shared resource. Now, what I mean is, if there is a shared resource that needs to be written by two different tasks, then there will always be a problem of concurrency, which I will discuss in this video. So let's take an example here. We have two tasks called task one and task two. And let's say that task one wants to write something into a variable. And let's say that this is an array. And task two also wants to write something into another global variable. So these are two different global variables. Let's call this two variable A or array A and this is array B. Task 1 wants to write potatoes into this array and task 2 wants to write tomatoes into this array. Now we have a kernel. The kernel will switch between these two tasks. Now let's say task 1 is running. So task 1 starts filling in this, this array A uh, with potatoes. So it, writes its uh, first letter which is B and then let's say it manages to write the second letter O and then T and at that moment the kernel takes the control from task 1 and then gives it over to task 2 and task 2 starts writing its task which is writing T O N A tomatoes into task B but before it completes its work again task 1 gets its turn then task 1 manages to write the entire potatoes into this array and then again the kernel switches back to task 2 and task 2 completes its, uh, its work and manages to write tomatoes into the array B now this is totally fine this is perfect this will work normally without any problems but what if we had instead of having two different arrays or two different resources we just had one so potatoes written by task A, it, 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 it was supposed to be written by task 1 into this shared resource and tomatoes needs to be written by task 2 into the shared resource and after writing the shared resource let's say it wanted to print the data so this is the terminal and on terminal it will print Now here let's see what problem we are going to have. We are going to face the issue of concurrency. Um, task 1 gets his, uh, it's trying to run, and then it starts writing uh, P and then O into the shared resource. And before it completes writing T or any other letter, so it just wrote two of them, P and O, and then at that moment the kernel switches to task 2. Now, task 2 does not know that this shared resource already has some data that that is relevant, that is important for task 1. Without knowing that, it starts writing tomatoes into the shared resource. So it overwrites this thing and it starts writing T O M. And let's say before it completes, it just writes T O and then M. Before it completes writing A T O E S, the kernel again switches back to task 1. Now, task 1 had written P. O, but now it, it continues writing T A T O E S. So it will start writing from here T A T O E S. And then it will print its, its array, which is T O T A T O E S. This is not what we want. So we have a data that is contaminated, that is corrupted. Because the shared resource, uh, which is where two different tasks are fighting over to write into it, is corrupting the data. So neither of these tasks will actually have the, the data that it needs in the shared resource. So this is a problem of concurrency. So what we can do is we, we bring in this feature of mutex where instead of allowing both these tasks to directly write into the shared resource, we have a lock. 
Okay. We have a lock here, which is the mutex lock. And before gaining access to the shared resource, each task will first try to gain access to the lock. It will see if the lock is free or not. Let's say if the lock was free, then the first thing that it does is it locks it locks this mutex and then it gets access over to the shared resource. So at that time, even if the kernel switches to task two, then task two will see that the the mutex is already locked. So in that case, it cannot gain access over to the shared resource. So only task one will have access to the shared resource. So when task one completes its task, which is writing the entire P O T A T O E S, and then let's say it prints the the entire thing, it prints P O T A T O E S. So it completed its task. And after completing it, what it needs to do is it needs to unlock this mutex. So, so well, the mutex is unlocked. So now when the kernel gives control to task two, task two finds that the the lock is free or the mutex is free to be taken. So the, the task two takes the mutex for itself and then locks it, and then it starts writing whatever it wants to, which is T O N A T O E S. In that case, even if it is interrupted by task one, task one will not be able to write anything into the shared resource. So mutex will guard the shared resource allow only one task to have access to it at a time and um, solve the problem of concurrency and the problem of concurrency that we have seen here right now will only arise if both the tasks are trying to write into the shared resource so you will not have a problem if one task is writing into it and the other task is reading from it then you don't have a problem of concurrency and you don't need to use any, any mutex or anything to guard the shared resource if you have two different tasks both are trying to read from the shared resource again you don't have a problem of concurrency but you need to guard a resource when two different tasks are writing into it so in the next video we will look into an example where we have two tasks that are trying to write into a shared resource and how we can use mutex in free articles. Thank you.